got the wave through. It's always a good sign. How you doing? Pretty good. Hey, before y'all come on, do you have any weapons, drones, uh, or contraband? Welcome back, Edel Campers. I'm Fred. And I'm Mary. We explore, experience, and educate. Because it's never too late to believe in yourself. And that's the truth. We are at the Naval Submarine Base, Kings Bay, Georgia where they have a fam camp here on base called Eagle Hammock. I'm going to show you a cool campsite here. So this is Eagle Hammock RV Park. It is an MWR campground through the Navy. It's a pretty awesome park. We've stayed here before and really enjoyed it. I wanted to come back and share it with you guys. This is the office. They are closed on the weekends. You can pay your fee online um, or you can pay the camp host. It is $26 a night. Not too bad for full hookup and free washer and dryer. Reminds me of Bear Cave. If you haven't seen that review of a um, thousand trails, Bear Cave is the name of the campground. I'll put that up above and you can go check that out. Right after the camp office, there's an after hours arrivals where you can pick up your check in packets um, and call the camp host so they can help you if you need any help. There is a map of Eagle Hammock along with check in procedures campground rules, reservations, and pet information. There's one dumpster here on the corner for everyone. They have an air station here. It is a quarter, but it's pretty convenient so you can pull up so you don't have to get out all the stuff you need to air up your tires. Next to the air, there is a dump. We are on B7. We have a nice flat spot. We were by the lake last time, but this is pretty nice too. Well, it's a pull through and I'll show you the uh, electric when we hook up. We're, um, we're only staying a short period of time, so we've not set up a whole lot of stuff. There are some shrubbery there that's really pretty. The grass is maintained well. It has a picnic table, plenty of room for Bullwinkle, and a nice spot for Rocky. So this is our electrical site at King's Bay, Eagle or we like that. Eagle Hammock. There you go. Okay. All sites are full hookup. They have sewer, water, and electric. We are right across the street from the camp host, who is awesome here. They go out of their way to meet and greet you especially on the weekends when the office is closed, they will be sure to help you out. We're here at Kings Bay. <laughs> Woohoo! Georgia! Submarine base here. We got a bunch of subs here. I, also, we have a lot of problems with people coming here with guns now. Oh okay? my gosh. And they're, they're used and to drones. Being, and drones. Just saying. So this space is super, super strict on that. Mm -hmm. okay? We've seen that, yeah. Do I please do not lie to them. Yeah. Okay, it's not worth it. Uh -huh. There are people that have been banned from here for life. Kings Bay is not a very large campground. Here's just one of the little circles um, that is within the campground. All the sites are very well maintained with shrubbery, grass, picnic table, nice big pad, and a gravel spot for your toad. Eagle Hammock RV Park, Kings Bay has a fire pit. Fire must be attended until completely extinguished. It's a great place not only for hanging out, but having that group campfire as well. This is the community area. This is where your men and women's showers are, the laundry facility, gate dunk machines, and a community area for you to meet. This is a nice community area where you can watch TV, hang out. You can also cook in this area. It's nice and clean well maintained. They have an MWR information station here. They have activities that you can participate. They also have a um, 
little computer setup in the community area with a printer. Every good campground has a good book area. They also have a game room where you can play cards, chess, or checkers. And they have a game cabinet. There's a few puzzles and games. Nice women's facility, four sinks, setting area, four stalls. It's nice and cool in here too. And showers. We have been to King's Bay before and one of the things I love about this laundry room is it is free. There is no charge to wash and they have 10 dryers, five washing machines. They do have an ironing board, place to fold your clothes and iron. They have a nice sized dog park. It's grass and well maintained. Oh, they have two cabins here for rent. Actually the dock is, uh, or the, the boat marina is just one road over past the campsite and is available for the campers. There's a lot of lakefront places of availability here. So you also have Lake D recreation area, playgrounds, boat dock, and pavilions. This is within walking distance of the campground. You just walk by the lake and all this is accessible to you from Eagle Hammock. If you walk past the lake, you will come um, onto a little playground that the kids can enjoy. It's pretty cute. And there also is a pavilion for you to have picnics at. Of course, we do not want to feed or disturb those alligators. I don't know how many of you out there feed the alligators. If you feed the alligators, put it in the comments below because I know I don't feed the alligators. And a closer view of the nice dock and setting area. Or the USS George Bancroft SSBN-643. Submarine, King Spay, Georgia. Give me the man pose. Hey, can I get a cruise missile? We could use one of these on top of the uh, bullet rifle. You know, the idea was to get to the submarine, sneak up to a ship, you know, detonate your explosives, and then get away. This added the reach in the arm. And what's amazing with these, when you look at them, is none of these have fins. So, because they're coming out of a tube. So, what they have is you can see the little circles around the base. Those are like jets. And they can control how they want to go by using those you know, little jets. Kind of like on the, on the Gemini, where they had the little jets and on the space suits and stuff like that. What I need is to, uh, a hammer so I can start chipping off the paint and repainting it. Because that's how they punish the sailors, right? right? You get out there, you chip off the paint, and all the paint's going, you paint it. Then you start over again. <laughs> now we have uh, reviewed other fam camps. If you uh, want to check another fam camp out west, we were at Maelstrom. You can check that out, and we'll link that above. All right, it's time for your Kings Bay Cellular Service Report. Our leader this week is T-Mobile at 26.0 MIPS down. Right behind that is AT&T at 17.8 and trailing is Verizon at 9.31. Well, we had a lot of fun at this park. Just remember, you got to be a uh, military, prior military to get it. And there's all sorts of rules. So check those before you uh, come on out here. We'll see you next time.